Um, just so that you know, I'm going to sue you. Yes. Mm -hmm. For not requiring the presence of the petitioner at every civil court hearing. Yes. Now, this victims of crimes are hereby granted, and upon notifying the prosecuting attorney, a victim of a crime charged as a felony shall have the right to be informed of and subject to the discretion of the individual presiding over the trial court proceedings. So, attend trial and all of the court proceedings. Now, a gross misdemeanor is not a felony. Pow, pow. Mm. Now, uh, <laughs> uh, this prosecuting attorney, yes! You didn't file the two-count criminal complaint thinking that the gross misdemeanor of cyber-stalking <laughs> and uh, the gross misdemeanor of violating a, a no-contact order, yes, <laughs> was the same as a felony, pooch. Now, I'm thinking law enforcement has to be involved in all misdemeanors and gross misdemeanors, yes. <laughs> <coughs> You took my sons and gave my sons to a woman <clears throat> that alleged domestic violence, the non-jury trial. Yes, Judge Rohrer. Yes. And then she made up some bullshit about she didn't have to appear in court so she didn't have to sign the dissolution of marriage because she was a victim of crime when it was a civil proceeding. <laughs> you didn't require the petitioner to be in court before you issued the dissolution of marriage. You're going to get sued for abusing the victim's bill of rights. Pouch! Now, this concept of the deputy prosecuting attorney filing a two-count criminal complaint because the prosecuting attorney was informed of the gross misdemeanors. Ouch! You can't just go through the prosecuting attorney for misdemeanors and gross misdemeanors because somebody alleges a crime where there's no police or sheriff involved. Now, I'm going to find out, okay? You're sitting there at your desk doing nothing, playing with yourself, and I'm going to fucking find out what you've done. And then I'm going to sue you for violating the Victim's Bill of Rights because it diminishes the effect of the rules and procedures of prosecution. Now, this county and Jefferson County have been excusing themselves from the enforcement of the requirements of the law. <laughs> Now, am I the victim of a felony? Poach. Let's say Class B felony uh, kidnapping. Ouch. You issue court orders where I was not given any due process, and the sole intent was to take custody of my sons. Now, I'm going to want my wife convicted of kidnapping. Do you understand, Sheriff? <laughs>